try our ruffle trim heels. I know we did the ruffle sandals, but these are a bit different. What we're gonna do is put ruffle on the back of the shoe. It's a very simple, easy DIY that kind of completely will transform your shoe. So this is perfect because I know everyone has all these holiday parties coming up and it's just that time of year where I feel like you're just dressing up more and more. So I think these heels will be perfect for that. I'm excited. It's kind of a way to spruce up old like black shoes you have in your closet that you don't really know what to do with. So all you need for this DIY are shoes. These are from Boohoo. I'll link them below. Ruffles scissors, and a glue gun. So that's all you need for this DIY. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the shoe and the ruffles, and we're going to measure the ruffle. I want it to end around right here on the shoe. So what I'm going to do is start from there, kind of measure, measure it using my hands of how long I want it to be. Okay, so about there. So I'm gonna kinda just see, so that's how much I need. Then I'm going to just cut it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the other one for the other shoe right now. That way I know they are the same length. And that's all the ruffle you're gonna need for the DIY are these two pieces. So here we go. So this is the best way to make sure something's even is to always start from the middle. So I'm just going to put this in half, the exact half. There it is. That's the perfect half. So I find that this is the middle right here. So I'm going to put the middle right here to kind of measure it. So that's the middle. If you find when you're gluing this that it's not even on both sides, like they're not ending at the same spot, then you can go ahead and kind of just glue up until the very end and then trim off and eyeball it to make sure that it's even um, if by chance you didn't measure it properly. So now that I have the middle, I'm going to start by gluing that really quick. Just a little dab of glue and then I'm just going to set it on. So that way, I know where the middle is, and I can try to keep this on as even as possible. Once you have the middle on securely, it's gonna go piece by piece, and you're gonna glue on the trim. Sorry if I'm a little like blah today. I'm just a little under the weather. It's finally cold in LA. So I'm just feeling like blah, blah. But we're getting through, we're getting through. Holidays are coming and I'm going home. So I'm very excited. really easy if I was not talking while I was doing it it would have literally took me like three minutes so it's really fast it's a really fast DIY really super duper easy when you're done it's like your shoe has a little little frill band thing happening and it's really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other shoe 
and I'll come back and show you the final product. Three hours later. There you go. Two ruffle sandals. Ooh, 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 ooh. They're really cute. I like them. I like them a lot. Another fun thing you can do with these shoes once they're done is add shoe clips to them. So I have these shoe clips from Aldo and they just clip right here on the shoe and it kind of makes them super festive and fun and just cool. Kind of adds another dynamic to the shoe. It definitely makes them way more holiday but the nice part is they just clip right off. And then you can have this option if you want to make them more crazy, more fun. You can add these little jewels on the front. So now you have this whole new shoe. I don't know. I, I knew there were shoe clips out there, but I never thought to use shoe clips until uh, they were sent to me. And I am kind of in love with this idea of shoe clips. So that's just a DIY in itself. You can just add shoe clips to any shoe and make it a whole new shoe. So that's the final product. What do you guys think? If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you try it, as always, I want to see it. I love seeing your creations. Thank you so much uh, for giving me so much love on these DIYs. This is something that I really love sharing with you guys, so if you have any ideas on shoe DIYs, be sure to send them over to me and I will try them. Alright guys, see you guys next time.